Al-Hafiz ibn Hajar al-Asqalani rahimullah ta'ala mentions quoting from Nu'aym bin Hammad in his Kitab al-Fitan that Jubayr bin Nafir wa Shurayh bin Ubaid wa Umar bin al-Aswad wa Kathir bin Murrah all of these narrators state Ad-Dajjalu laysa huwa insanun wa innama huwa shaytanun موثق بسبعين حلقة في بعض جزائر اليمن لا يعلم لا يعلم من أوثقه سليمان النبي صل عليه الصلاة والسلام وغيره that a dajjal is not a human this is an opinion by the way this is not a hadith he states a dajjal is not a human he is a shaytan who has been shackled with seventy shackles in some of the islands near Yemen. Now, remember the hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he is in Bahr sham in the Mediterranean. He is in the Ye Yemeni Sea, the Arabian Sea. He is in the Eastern direction. The reason for this, Al-Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan, Naimi Rahimullah Ta'ala in his commentary, Al-Mir'at, Commentary on Mishkatul Masabih. He states the reason for this is that he was transported and he is regularly transported, but he will finally appear from the eastern direction. So at the time when Tamim al Dari, radiallahu an, or his cousin and the 30 men from the Arabian tribes met at Dajjal. They met at Dajjal when he was located on the Med in the Mediterranean Sea. After this, he was transported to the Arabian Sea. And toward the end of time, he will only appear from the eastern direction. This particular narration states, narration from these scholars of Hadith, that he is located in these islands near Yemen. No one knows who tied him up. Maybe Sayyiduna Suleiman alayhi salam or someone else. فَإِذَا آنَ ظُهُورُهُ فَكَّ اللَّهُ عَنُهُ كُلَّ عَامٍ حَلْقَةً When his appearance shall draw close, every year Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove one chain, one uh, chain, حلقة, one of the circles that bind the chain will be removed every year. So these narrations go hand in hand with the fact that a Dajjal is locked on an island. We know this from the hadith of Sayyidina Tamim al-Dari. But also who was cited alongside with the Dajjal? Al-Jassasa. Al-Jassasa, Al-Imam al-Nawwi rahimahullah ta'ala states, is a creature which is a jinn which spies on the behalf of a Dajjal. This Jassasa is is who works on behalf of a Dajjal is one of those shayateen that has been placed on the islands. So this island, some have postulated that the island itself is the Bermuda Triangle. But we know the hadith of Sayyiduna Tamim al-Dari radiallahu an states that the waves pushed them on for 30 days and then they found this island. This particular island, others have theorized, apart from involving aliens and UFOs, which, by the way, every, anything that we propose to people must be from Al Quran Al Karim and the Ahadith of Sayyidina Rasulullah, because, because they have no vagueness. Some have postulated, it is Britain. The island, in one hadith, is described with an additional descri description which mentions that a Dajjal states himself what made you come out to this island such an island 
that no one has come out to this island since I have been placed on this island. This is in the Sahih of Ibn Hibban. That the island is described as such that since a Dajjal was placed on that island, no one has approached that island. So anyone who proposes that the island is Britain must reconcile that with the fact that the hadith states that no one has gone onto the island since a Dajjal has been locked onto the island. In another narration, the wording of the hadith is the following. They state, the companions, they describe the right eye, they say the right eye was blind. Al yumna. Ka'anna his eye looked like phlegm, if someone were to spit phlegm onto a wall which is plastered with white, the greenery will appear very bright. His eye is described as being that color, like phlegm on a white wall. They describe him as that and they state, he said, وَلَكِنْ أَخْبِرُونِي Inform me. What made you fall into this island? No one, this island, no one has reached this island, no human being, he says, Adami, has reached this island since I came out into this island. So this, uh, this shows that those islands which Sayyiduna Sulaiman salam locked those shayateen which human beings have no access. One of those islands is the island upon which a Dajjal is located. And the islands are such that human beings have not gone onto that island except with the odd occasion like the occasion of uh, Sayyiduna Tamim al-Dari radiallahu an. This can be reconciled with the view of Mullah Ali Qari rahimahullah ta'ala who states that the, the island may be located in Alam al-Mithal, the world of similitudes. And when a Dajjal will appear, he will be taken out from Alam al-Mithal and come out into this realm. A few more points regarding this additional uh, wording in the hadith is he said has the water of the sea of Galilee disappeared but he added another point has wondrous things started to appear from this sea Meaning not only that the sea will dry, wondrous things will start to come out of the sea. He said, Ama inna sayakun. Soon this shall happen. And the wording is also, Thumma sakata maliyan. After each question and each answer, he would go quiet for a while as well. He also said, Akhbiruni an aini zughar ma fa'alat. What did the spring of Zughar do? They said, what, which aspect? He said, do the people still water? The cult, do they cultivate with the spring? We said, yes. And at this point, he said, soon the water will disappear. These are few things which are mentioned in this particular narration. At the end of this particular narration, the wording has the following. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, هَذِهِ طَيْبَ هَذِهِ طَيْبَ هَذِهِ طَيْبَ This is طَيْبَ أَلَا أُخْبِرُكُمْ أَنَّهُ فِي بَحْرِ الشَّامْ ثَلَاثًا He said, did I not inform you that he is in the Mediterranean Sea? The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said this three times. After this, the companion states, 
the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fell asleep. Thumma ughmiya alayhi sa'atan for a while. Faqal and he awoke and he said, Bal huwa fi bahri al-Iraq. Rather he is in the Sea of Iraq, the Arabian Sea. So this shows that a Dajjal was transported from the Mediterranean Sea to the Sea of Iraq. And then later on, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Min qibal al mashriq from the eastern direction. Now, while reading through Sahih of Ibn Hibban, Ibn Hibban himself gives his opinion. And this is interesting because Abu Hatim Ibn Hibban is an early scholar of hadith. He states, Qawlu Abi Hurayrata radiallahu anhu, وَأَشَارَ نَحْوَ الْمَشْرِقِ أَرَادَ بِهِ الْبَحْرَيْنِ لِأَنَّ الْبَحْرَيْنِ مَشْرِقُ الْمَدِينَةِ وَخُرُوجُ الدَّجَّالِ يَكُونُ مِنْ جَزِيرَةٍ مِنْ جَزَائِرِهَا لَا مِنْ خُرَسَانِ وَالدَّلِيلُ عَلَى صِحَةِ هَذَا أَنَّهُ مُوثَقٌ فِي جَزِيرَةٍ مِنْ جَزَائِرِ الْبَحْرِ عَلَى مَا أَخْبَرَ تَمِيمٌ الدَّارِ وَلَيْسَ بِخُرَسَانِ بَحْرٌ وَلَا جَزِيرَةٌ He states Sayyiduna Abu Hurairah stated that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam pointed to the east. He states, Ibn Hibban, that what is meant by the east is Al-Bahrain. Where is Al-Bahrain located? It is a country east, in the eastern direction of al Madinatul Munawwara. He states, because Bahrain is the eastern direction of al Madina, And a Dajjal shall appear from an island, from the islands of Bahrain, not from Khurasan. The evidence to this is that he has been tied in an island from the islands of the sea. But in Khurasan, there are no islands. What he's referring to in Khurasan is that in Khurasan, which is east of Iraq, in Iran, northern Iran, and Afghanistan, uh, western Afghanistan, you have the area known as Khurasan. Some of the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mention that a Dajjal will appear from that direction. But later on, we will look into the meaning of this hadith, what is meant by the different areas which are mentioned that a Dajjal shall appear from Basra, or he shall appear from Asfahan, or it shall appear from Khurasan. This in Riyadh, Khullatun Bayna Shami Wal Iraq, a pathway between Syria and Iraq. What is meant by this is a, a journey that he will take toward Al Madinatul Munawwara. So, with regard to the island, the, the British Isles, uh, those who have been forwarding this theory, this is my presentation on that, that it could not mean the British Isles, even though. Personally, we have no problem someone proposing this, that the British Isles are the island of Dajjal. But the Bermuda Triangle is also uh, a far guess. Uh, 